Hello everybody, I hope that you're all very, very well today. My name is Claire and I'm going to be giving us an energy reading for this week of the 12th of February 2024. So I'm going to give us a little reading and then I'm going to pick a card to support the reading. And the word that I'm getting for this week is heart, heart. And I've got to admit, I am struggling with this video. I've already recorded it twice and then I keep kind of like going on a tangent about stuff and, and I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to make it as simple and as clear as possible, um, which is actually what the heart is. The heart is simple and clear. So I'm just wanting to simplify it, and not make it like a really long video like my other videos that I recorded earlier. Um, so heart and the image that I get with heart is it's at the center of the being. It's connecting all worlds. It's this mid point between all worlds, between the upper and the lower and the inner and the outer. And we all carry this beautiful portal within us that can uh, interrelate with all worlds around us through the heart. So when we are interrelating with the world around us from our heart, we are dropping into the pure essence of what we are. When we were an embryo, the first thing that grew was our heart and everything else grew from that. So if you think of that, we are actually an extension of our heart. So when we allow ourselves to relate with the world around us from the place of the heart, we are being totally and authentically ourselves, absolutely ourselves. There's no masking. There's no pretending that we're anything other than what we are. We don't have any blocks around us. We don't have any fears. We are just showing up as we are. And that can show up in a way that feels sometimes quite untamed, sometimes quite primal. It can show up in a way that feels vulnerable at times. It can show up in a way that feels like we want to be one way um, and not another way. And that's okay. Everything is welcome because that's what the heart is. Everything is welcome in the space of the heart. The good, the bad, the ugly. The heart is going to accept everything about you, okay? So when you drop deep into your own heart, this is where it's like your true home. This is where you are going to be welcomed back into this place as if like a rose is opening up its petals to welcome you in to the beauty of its scent, to the beauty of its softness and its beautiful color of pink or red or yellow or whatever the color of the rose is in your heart. And so when we do that for ourselves and we drop into this pure connection of truth, authenticity, simplicity, unconditional love for ourselves in our heart that then extends outwards to those around us and we can take that into our relationships around us into our close love relationship into our family relationships into our friendships even into our work and to our animals and to nature around us because everything is an extension of the heart so You've, we've got to start looking at the way that we are relating with ourselves first. That then has a ripple effect outwards. And the way that we are communicating with ourselves and relating with ourselves is going to be the way that we are showing up to the world around us. Okay. And so the question here is are you putting any judgments on love? Are you putting any conditions on love? Are you judging any part of yourself? Are you dis? engaging from any part of yourself or fragmenting and saying this part of me is not good enough that part's not good enough when i'm thin enough i'll love myself more when i have longer hair when i have a better job when i have more money all these things then i'll be happy then i'll be back in my heart and i'll be loved it's very important that we all learn to love ourselves exactly as we are right now today love yourself no matter how you're showing up, even if you need to stay in bed all day today, even if you're not feeling well today, even if you're one million dollars today, even if you have a crappy job today, it doesn't matter. Love yourself because all those things are just stories. Those are just stories that are playing out in our life because our life is a story. When we come back to the purity of the heart, it's going to accept and it's going to hold the space for every single one of us to be and express ourselves exactly as we are and when we do that for ourselves, we're doing that for the relationships around us okay so when we have conditions on relationships around us we're not loving the person we're loving them dependent on whether they can 
be funnier or whether they can earn more money or whether they can be more clever or whatever. And if you find that you're with somebody or you have friends where you're constantly thinking, I need you to be like this rather, and I, I want you to show up like that rather, and then I'll love you, then it might be a good idea for you to feel into that friendship or that relationship and feel into, is this actually serving me right now? Is this friendship or is this person serving me right now? Or it may be that you need to communicate with the person and kind of say, you know, it's very important for me that you show up in this way. Are you able to do that for me? Um, and if they're unable to do that for you, and if you really do feel that that is an absolute no-no and it's an absolute need of yours that your heart absolutely needs to um, uh, experience, then it may be that you you look to letting that go um, um, because at the end of the day, your heart needs to feel fulfilled. Your heart needs to, you need to know that you're giving your heart everything that your heart is worthy of. And if you need your person to show up in a certain way and they're not doing that for you and they, they, they're incapable of it, that's another thing. Some people do want to show up. They do want to change. Um, and I've been in a relationship once before like this where I really wanted the guy to change. Um, and I feel ashamed to say that um, I actually kind of almost pushed him into a corner so much so that he he actually said to me in tears one day, I cannot change into that. I, I cannot be that. I cannot be that for you. You know, and, and, and it could be that that person is just not, maybe not the right person for you. They cannot show up for you in the way that you need them to. Um, and if that's the case, then it's really, it's, a, it's, the, it's the kind thing to do to let them go rather than try and force them into being something because you need them to be something. Um, because then you'll find somebody who will be able to show up for you exactly how you need them to. But remember, don't... Um, don't don't close off like your heart. If, 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 if somebody is showing up in a way that isn't exactly how you want them to show up, maybe there's also something for you to feel into in your heart. Is there something that I'm actually holding on to that I can let go of? You know, is that really so important? And is it because I'm kind of holding on to a trauma from the past and therefore I need them to fulfill something that actually is not really their responsibility for, to fulfill? So feel the difference in that as well. You know, are you placing a responsibility on that person to fulfill something for you? Or is it actually your responsibility to fulfill that for yourself? That's another important thing when it comes to relating from the heart. Um, okay, I'm going to pick a card from the Ascended Masters pack, Doreen Virtue. Um, won't be too much longer. I'm trying to keep this as... <laughs> succinct and simple as possible because I do not want to record another video today um, right let's shuffle and see what ascended master would like to come through just bring in any further information around the heart about love about relationships about this connection of purity authenticity showing up in the world with no masks any ascended master here we go oh wow okay white buffalo calf woman peace offering where do you need to bring peace to your relationships? Where can you let go of, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting the image of, like, a Yorkshire Terrier going, <sighs> like, kind of like, you know, holding on. Where are you holding on to something that can actually just be let go of? You know, do, do, are you placing too many conditions on love, I'm wondering? Are you placing too many expectations? Are you placing... Um, uh, um, or are you projecting something? There's something around projecting something either onto somebody or onto yourself that's causing a bit of strife, that's causing a bit of war, that's causing a bit of discomfort. Um, or maybe the other person is projecting onto you, I don't know. But there's a thing about projection here and uh, causing like this war or this, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, icky feeling. Look into that. Look into how you can bring peace to that because the heart, at the center of heart, is peace. That's what the heart holds is peace. It's compassion. It's obviously it's love. It's, it's harmony. Where do you need to bring more harmony into your relationships? What is it? Is there something that you can um, 
love more? Is there something that you can love more, either about yourself or about your your partner or, or, or somebody in your life? And bring love to the bring love to it and bring peace to this. Because, because by holding on to something, it's just creating a um a, a more of a density and the, the heart doesn't is not able to operate freely from a place of density it wants to let go of the blocks it wants to let go of any um, barriers or density around it so where can you just breathe bring some peace to something in your life okay um it's time to do that this week and one way to do that is to look at everything that you are grateful for either if it's a, if it's yourself what are you grateful for yourself about rather than judging yourself belittling yourself or expecting yourself to be something other than what you are right now what are you grateful for how can you bring peace to the relationship with yourself and also if it's something to do with your love relationship or friendship or family member how can you bring appreciation and gratitude to that person rather than constantly focusing on what's wrong in that relationship or what's wrong with that person Okay, that's the final video I'm going to do. I hope that this all comes out okay. And I wish you a beautiful, heart-centered week. We've got Valentine's Day this week. I think it's on Wednesday. So Valentine's Day could mean relating in a loving way with the world around you. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be in a love relationship. It could be how are you going to show up with love in the way that a beautiful rose does sharing its scent sharing its color with the world and then just notice what happens in your world around you sending you a lot of love namaste see you next week oh and if you liked this video or any of my videos i ask you please if you can like it or share it or subscribe if you haven't already it does help me to continue to provide free content on youtube thanks guys bye